G'day, I am Alistair Christie and this is another video on FireMonkey. Um, in this video we're looking at uh, animating adding listbox items to a listbox um, and adding them is very very straightforward uh, until you want to go inserting one um, and it looks like this is currently a bug in, in FireMonkey where, where uh, insert object doesn't work. Um, so I've got to present a little bit of a workaround. Um, so, uh, yep, I'm, I'm really quite impressed with, with how FireMonkey works. Uh, I, I haven't played with it enough to really really get into it and give um, a good overview. I will hopefully eventually be making uh, some rather lengthy videos for sale on it, um, but I've got to get, get through uh, VCL and Datasnap and um, all that kind of stuff um, in the meantime. Um, so um, this is my video on uh, animating adding t-list box items um, in FireMonkey, so I hope you enjoy it. So I have here a blank uh, FireMonkey HD uh, application. To it I'm going to add a t-button, a t-list box, and a t-edit. And I'm just going to adjust the parentage, or containership, I'm not quite sure what the, the best term is. And just arrange those like so. I might as well throw them up the top. And I'm just going to add a add item is yes. string so we're going to start with that. Um, Add item one dot text, and I might as well um, start with item zero. So we run that, and we get the uh, very dull, um, our very dull application. Um, I was going to make that a little bit more interesting in that one dot text is assigned. we need um, okay so um, there we go not not very exciting so far um, now fire monkey is all about uh, uh, beautiful looking uh, um, user interfaces so let's uh, get rid of that code and create a list box item. Dot create and set the text property to S. And then add object L and run that. And we get exactly the same thing. I can uh, just as a I can also go L dot oops parent equals and we get the same thing again. Okay. So um how do we make this more interesting? Well, we can do some animation. Um, so we let's start by animating the height. Um, and uh, um, sizes in FireMonkey are, of course, uh, floating point. Um, things, so uh, floating point numbers. Um, so we can animate float and uh, we want to change the height property and 
it started at zero and go to oh, sorry we want to finish at uh, original height and we'll make it half a second the default is 0.2 and that looks much cooler. Uh, we can also um, uh, start at, I'll finish at 1 and take 0 0.5 to do it. start at zero. And it fades in all quite beautifully. Okay, say instead of um, inserting at the end, we want to add our items at the top of our, of our list. Um, so what we could do, rather than going add object, we go insert object, in position zero and at, at our, our list box item and run that and it all falls over in a, uh, a rather large uh, heap. Um, so um, let's get rid of our, our animation for now uh, and we'll need to uh, as well. And if we add, um, nothing's happening. Um, and we could try uh, l dot parent equals listbox one or something like that. And that's just uh, appearing at, at, at the end. Um, so this this is for some reason uh, not working. Um, we could also uh, if I just get rid of all of that, try something even more primitive. L dot uh, sorry not L list box insert. We get the same same issue that the, the, the count property is going up, but we're not displaying any uh, any items. Um, so, um, what to do? Well, my first uh, reaction. Uh, let's put that back. To add object. Let's go uh, first. Um, thought was to ask on Stack Overflow, so uh, here's, here's basically my code. Um, and then there are a number of suggestions, um, none of which particularly worked. Um, however, so I, I sort of came up with this horrible uh, piece of code, um, whereby, um, so rather than um, so we could just go index index zero. Um, we'll just go from the, the first item down to the or the last item down to the first item, um, uh, exchanging items and kind of bubble the the uh, the last item to the first position, um, which is pretty horrible. It's very reminiscent of, of, of our bubble sort, um, which uh, should should put you off immediately. Um, so uh, let's um, let's write this. Um, so first we're going to need a an index um, so uh, we use this math index so I can use the max function but we might just um, so that, that this is effectively adding it to the end um, so for I is assigned looks list box one dot count uh, minus one 
minus 1 down to 0 down to 1 um, so we need two items so Box one dot um, uh, index of item item by index is what I'm wanting. Um, I and the same thing. I minus one. So that should get items to the top. Now uh, what I did uh, in my uh, solution um, the max of 0 and item index which um, Index plus one down to index plus one. So that works as before, but if we have a, a uh, item selected, it inserts it. And the very last thing we might want to do is um, set the item index property uh, to our new item. Okay, um, so this this is um, XE2 update 3, I think. So I pre uh, presumably uh, update 4 will uh, solve um, this, is this issue and you just, you just be able to go uh, uh, insert object and not have to worry about um, uh, this bit of uh, annoying code. I suppose it's not that much code if we get rid of the begin and end, and, um, but it's, it's a bit silly. Anyhow, um, I hope this was uh, uh, useful and uh, um, I look forward to uh, making my next video.